Okay, this goes back to, uh, geez, I think 2015, yeah, 2015, Absolute Ecology, and they're reporting on the Russian experiment on the space station up there, and how they were doing some experiments in zero gravity with these these ions, these um, charged particles. And uh, this is uh, like about 10 minutes long. So I'm going to get in very deep detail, but I'm just going to cut in here and there to show you how the, the Bose-Einstein condensate formed. Okay, this is going to be so simple you won't believe it. But if you've been following electron flood theory, dipole electron flood theory, you understand this. The standard model is not correct. There is only these two particles, the black and the white, which are what they would call neutrinos. And that's all that exists. And then as they collect into bigger and bigger quantities, they form stability at certain points. And at every 100, 1835 or so, they appear to become more stable. So it's just, it's not like one, two, three, four, five. It's 1835 and then another 1835, they sort of lock into a, a, an element. So helium, I mean, the hydrogen, helium, lithium, all of that coming right up. To, and they're just bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger accumulations of huge amounts of, of electrons. 1835 instead of one. They say one proton makes a hydrogen. No, it's 1,835 of these particles, which is a black and a white together. 1,835 of those together in a ball similar to this is what a proton is. And this is what you'd normally call a proton, one of these. It's not. It's this. All right, so get that out of your head. The standard model doesn't work. Now, I am going to show you why this does work in Bose-Einstein condensate and in every, every single possible, anything you can talk to me about in physics, 100% I can explain to you with electron flood theory. It's very simple and, I, and I've shown the particles exist, it's not even, there's no guesses. Alright, so what is a Bose-Einstein condensate? All it is 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 what's left over at absolute zero. Absolute zero means you have no extra hot parts. The, the, the white parts are gone. Here's exactly what it says. A Bose-Einstein condensate, a group of atoms cooled to within a hair of absolute zero. In my world, absolute zero means absolutely zero electron neutrinos. They're gone. When they reach that temperature, the atoms are hardly moving anymore because there's no more pushing and shoving. The only, one, only the white ones push and shove. The black ones just clump together, and that's exactly what happens. They have almost no free energy to push and shove each other around. At that point, the atoms begin to clump together and enter the same energy state, which is they, they're just solid black balls, and they just clump together as dark matter. They become identical from a physical point of view, and the whole group starts to behave as though it were a single atom. Let me show you that actually happening. All right, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. Of hundreds of videos. These are the two particles. The black one never changes its size. It's a fixed particle. That is the Bernie point particle. Every one of those is gone, and all you have is black left. So we took all the little glow away, that's absolute zero when all you have is a black left. I never thought you could get, that's what would happen, but that is what's happened. Boom. Now everything looks like it's just one big ball of blackness. That's correct. We were able to separate these using the Venturi, break them apart here on Earth. In outer space, they can break apart all by themselves. You see that? That's a Bose-Einstein condensate, and that's just exactly what it is. It's a black hole that formed because there was no more electrons in this space. And that's because of the experiment they did in zero gravity. This doesn't happen here on Earth. That's why they can't do this here on Earth. Because you need zero gravity. And I'll explain to you exactly this experiment and we'll watch it actually her happening. And when they did this, these were the Russians. They said during the experiment we contacted the Earth guys who couldn't believe it either. 
They had no idea this was going to happen. Well, this is exactly what I would expect to happen in the conditions that they did with ionized particles. Ionized particles means you have extra white glowy ones. That means you have extra white black, I mean, extra black ones. So they're the white glowy ones are going to push the black ones into the ball in the center, making the Einstein, Bose-Einstein condensate. All right, let me just make it very simple, very easy. They're at, at absolute zero temperatures, which means absolutely zero extra electrons. Nobody's pushing, nobody's shoving. All right. All right, as Tesla said, all energy is, is, is um, vibration. This is exactly correct. I call it push to shove. There's going to be a push, and then it's going to shove back. Push to shove back is always where energy happens. That's, that's the only type of energy there is other than, well, see, this way you get a little tricky. All right, let's just, I'm just going to tell you right out. At absolute zero, there is no resistance to electrons flowing in. The electron neutrinos, pew, they go flying in there to find the black matter. That's why superconductivity, they say, zip, they, you can have as much electricity as you want generated through there. Yes, but only in, for an instant, because it starts to pile back against itself. It's pushed to shove. When they get almost at zero, there's no pushing and shoving. That's why it says the defining feature of Bose-Einstein condensate, the atoms behave very differently to what we normally expect. Instead of acting as independent particles, they all have the same very low energy coordinated with each other. They just glob into a ball. And I show this in, in the light experiments. We can see them just dropping right on top of each other. They, have no, they don't care about touching each other. The white ones hate each other. It says it's similar to the difference between photons, which are light particles coming from the sun, which may have many different wavelengths and oscillate independently, and those in laser beams, which have the same wavelength and oscillate together. They still don't understand what's going on here. These are electron dipoles, and if you don't have one of the poles and you're missing it, 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 it acts totally different, and the black can just glob together. It's a fixed particle. The white does not do that. They've removed all the white, and all they have is a ball of blackness. All right, now don't forget, we have been able to separate the black from the white here on Earth through the, the Warren effect, through a Venturi. This is in outer space. We don't have compressed composition of gases in outer space it's a it's it's zero gravity so they're not trying to be compressed to the earth's surface which they do because they are attracted because I believe there is more dark matter attracting more and that's our earth is basically just like this a crust around dark matter now is the earth hollow I don't know but it could well be let me show you how this happens these are nothing more than ionized particles. What comes from the sun? Ionized particles. They hit us. Why wouldn't it crust around just like this? Because our Earth is a sphere in space. All right, so they would crust around that sphere, just like they're doing here in space in a vacuum chamber. And the only reason they are staying right like this is because the vacuum chamber con contains them. They can't get out. Wa watch what happens. They will go like this. That's the push to shove, which I've talked about thousands of times. And this is, this is the new atomic model right here. This is exactly what works. And we're looking at the white ones, and we're looking at the black ones. They can separate. We did it. So did the Russians in space. That's Bose-Einstein condensate, as far as I'm concerned. All right, they talk about in orbit, the experiment is similar to the one on Earth. However, on Earth, you have gravity to contend with. So here goes. So now there's the black bucket. And in that vacuum chamber, there's really zero gravity space, completely empty space. Now. They have a computer, and they're looking at this plasma is first created in this black bucket. 
So plasma is this charged particles. You see them coming in here? Now watch. Pay close attention to this. Because here's the thing they're not taking into account. The inside of this bucket has a surface. Every single surface there is, is coated with white particles. You don't see them, but they're coated with them. That's why when light hits them, it bounces back. Because those particles bounce the stuff back. So the inside here is forcing these white particles to pinch down. They're not pinching down for no reason. And then they will create a stripes of particles because they hate each other. And they will say, you stay this way, you stay that way, okay. And then they set up their actual like lines of troops coming through. And you will see this. Now watch. Here comes the charged particles. And again, these are dust, micron-sized dust, well, here it is right here, micron-sized dust particles are then allowed in. And these dust particles are charged. All right, so here they come. Now watch what they do. You see them point come, they're being pinched by the electrons that are all in here. And, they're, and then they're striping out into these lines because that's what they do. They would call that interference patterns. Otherwise, they'd just be all random looking. No, they're pushing you, you push me, you push, 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 push. I call it push to show. So now, they get to the end, and there's nowhere else for them to go. Now they're bouncing back, and they're going to start to do all this stuff. All right, so here you can see the dust particles, the beginning of the crystallization process. Now, here's what they expected to see. They expected them to see all of them push each other away equally, and eventually would stripe out like this and like this in, you know, in depth. So it would be like a, a, a fabric web of lattice work. So here, here goes. That's what they expected. So they're watching and the stuff starts flowing around. Everything's recorded by video cameras. They're having a good time. They're all, hey, watch this now. So the scientists on Earth will be getting the video from the chamber live. <laughs> So, so now, all the particles are in there now. So here we go. They're all sort of drifting around. And then all of a sudden, they're expecting to see, so it's everything else that's been happening in this black becket, received data was completely unexpected. So here's what they expected to see, this clean lattice. And all that is is stripes of electrons this way, and, or, or you know, charged particles this way and charged particles this way. Everybody pushing and shoving each other into equilibrium of a, a pattern. Now, here's what happened now. All right, during the experiment, we contacted the Earth guys who couldn't believe it either. Now, here's what I want you to pay attention to. I'm going to slow this down to 25%. Okay, now we're going to come back Uno Smidjo. All right, here we go. Watch what happens. Don't forget now, there's a wall of electrons here. The same white particles. They're just here, and they, they're they not going to go anywhere. And there's a wall down here. So as these bounce back and forth this way, they just keep accumulating these additional dark matter because anytime you have charged particles you have dark matter with it the dark matter says well I'm extra I'm gonna go to the center and that's what happened here and you can only do it in zero gravity now watch it bounce you see it bounce boom 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 that's pushing back bounce pushing back to the wall Bounce it against the wall. It's like taking a rubber ball and push it, bounce it back against the wall. Same thing down here. And all of the dark matter is going to the center. Now, I, I never would have believed that that could separate quite so easily. But it's obviously doing that. See, one of the guys at the Max Planck Institute freaked out so bad he locked himself in his office for three weeks. <laughs> this is just crazy stuff. But that's exactly what happened. You can see it. Now, there's a whole lot of information they have here about the interactions of all, all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's just bizarre. But it's in space. That's why. You see? Crystal-like lattices. Look, look at how these particles move and push and shove each other into central cores. Very, very exciting research. But they just dropped it.
as far as I know, I haven't heard anything more about this, this black hole. 